My name is Johnny Scoville. I have issues and this is Chase the Heat. People, I'll be doing a uh, legal fire challenge uh, later this afternoon. Uh, but right now, I'm eating some hot pods. Birds fly, fish swim, and I eat hot stuff. And that's what I'm doing this morning. So look what I got. I've got uh, some really cool pods. Some holy monkey. Um, amazing peppers. Look what I got. Gonna, he sent me a box. And it had all those in there. So I decided I would just eat one of each of them. Simple solution, right? All right, so let me show you what I got. I'm going to cut them open and try not to have you stare at the top of my head too much. Uh, the first one we got is a red ghost, a gorgeous, gigantic red ghost pepper. Spectacular looking. Is it not? I'm excited to eat this because I love ghost peppers a lot. Um, a Jay's peach. Look at that. Beautiful Jay's Peach. Go Scorpion. Uh, then we've got a yellow ghost pepper. All right. Kind of excited about that. Then we got a, what a classic looking pepper this one is. You guys know what this is by looks? Some of you might. This would be your Butch Tea. Monster, legendary pepper right here. Um, then I've got a uh, chocolate bula, another legendary pot, and this one's awesome looking. Look how beautiful. It almost looks wet, doesn't it? Just spectacular. Uh, and the last pepper is a purple naga. You can kind of see why they call it a purple naga. It almost has like that purple hue to it. All right, so uh, thank you, holy monkey. Uh, let me cut these things open here. I'm gonna cut them up in, in order of how I read them here. We'll do the red, uh, the red ghost pepper first. Uh, then we're going to cut up the Jay's peach ghost scorpion. And the yellow. So how's your weekend going, man? I've had a good one. My days have been so surreal lately. You know, it's interesting. This sort of has a similar feel to what it feels like that the Netflix thing had. This amazing thing going on, I can't talk about it, I really want to, and it's just, you know. I find myself calling people that I'm working with on this just so I can talk about it, because it's driving me crazy. Um, but the cool thing is, just like the Netflix, when I would say to you, but you're going to get to see it, and you guys got to, you're going to get to see this. All right. So, now I'm going to take a quick shot of these peppers on the inside for the gram. Wow, it's the wettest red, uh, red, ghost, I've, red ghost I've seen in a really long time. I guess I'll eat them in order. I'll just do this one first. Look at how oily the inside of this is. Just incredible, super long vein running the entire length. Not a huge placenta at all, but just incredible looking, super oily. And man, does that just smell like a ghost pepper. Wow, all right. So this is the start of it. We'll do the Red Ghost, Jay, uh, Jay's Peach, Yellow Ghost, Butch Tea, Chocolate Boot, and end with a purple Naga. For I am Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase C. God, I have issues. Let's go. Super ghosty. That's a great pepper. Every time I eat a really good ghost pepper, it reminds me of why I love ghost peppers so much. They taste great. They really do. It's got a great flavor to it. Um, it's got this predictable heat. You know, like jalapenos that lie to you, they're sneaky. Get 10, one's gonna get you. Ghost peppers are just a consistent pepper, super stable. 
Um, super predictable. You know what it's going to do. The heat's going to start slow and ramp up like it's doing right now. It's going to ramp up. First, you can eat one. Go ahead. It's not so bad. There it goes. Anyhow, that was the Red Ghost. Uh, if you're not a chili head, that would be, that, you know, there's the age old debate. Is a ghost pepper a super hot? I kind of have a couple different answers. Like in the beginning of the season, you bet it's a super hot. The end of the season, not so much. But overall, in the grand scheme of things, you bet. It's just a super hot pepper. It really is. It's, it's, you know, especially if you factor in that before that, like the hottest pepper was like a, a red Savina. So the ghost is just a monster. It really is. It's always going to be a hot pepper. But here is a Jay's peach ghost, which is just beautiful in size. Look at that. Huge placenta on this one. Very oily like the red ghost was. What does this weigh? This is a good sized pepper. I should have weighed the first one. This pepper is 14 grams. It's a pretty good sized pepper. Now this tastes so much better than most Jay's peach. Wow. It finished tasting just like most uh, Jay's, Pe Ghost, uh, Jay's Peach, but the beginning was this little burst of sweetness that you'd, I don't typically expect or get from a Jay's Peach Ghost. Yummy! All right, so next up, the Yellow Ghost. Here's the Yellow Ghost on the inside. Now the yellow pods have just a citri uh, citrusy kind of thing going on. I'm scared of the ghost. The heat's building, you know, with those three ghost peppers, the red, the Jay's peach, and the yellow. Hot peppers. Um, the best tasting one so far has been the, uh, I don't know, I love that red one. The red one tastes so good. Next, we're gonna go to the Butch Tea, which is a just a absolute legendary pepper. A little flame berry. Again, a little sweetness to it. It's crazy. There's a lot of sweetness to this one. Sweet and super hot are not words that usually go in the same uh, sense. Unless you're going, sweet, you got super hots. But super hots aren't usually sweet. And um, the Jay's Peach was sweet. I would say the Red Ghost was a little sweeter than most, and that Butch Tea was sweet. Really strange. All right, so we're going to go with the oh, massive chocolate bula. And this chocolate bula is so oily. The, it, the wall lining of this pepper. Can you see how glistening the wall lining is of this? Super oily. Smoky right away. I'm not kidding you. Some sweetness to it. It's weird. Ah, 
hot pepper. Um, sweetness to that as well. Holy murky. Listen, I'm pretty impressed with that. Sweet, and like I said, sweet and super hot. Mm, don't get it too hot. That's why I think the person, the grower that creates a very consistently sweet, super hot, you can count on. Like an ultra hot, that's sweet. It's a game changer. All right, the last one that was hot. Very, very hot. My mouth is burning right now. Oh no. My ear just started burning. Which means an endorphin rush is coming. Here's the purple naga. The purple naga. Interesting interior. Strange as can be. Not th that one was the least my least favorite flavor of the pods that I ate today, the six pods. Sweetness in the Red Ghost, sweetness in the Jay's Peach, sweetness in the Butch Tea, sweetness in the Chocolate Bula. Listen, if you've eaten Super Hots, then you know how kind of weird that is. Uh, but it's across the board. Every pepper in here, except the Purple Naga and the Yellow Ghost, really had some real sweetness to it. So, holy monkey, he's doing something right, for real. Um, super Hot and Sweet, huh? Um, yeah, my ears are burning. This isn't a hard and fast endorphin rush. If I kept eating, it'd probably hit harder. As it is, it's so, so slowly kind of, like my heat was probably at like a four. And it's down to about a one now. I feel really good. Nice and mellow. Man, what a great feeling. See, that's the thing about the endorphin rush. So many people have wrote in or sent me emails and they say they want to experience an endorphin rush, but they have it. Um, I've met some hardcore chili heads. When I say hardcore, I mean they can eat just about anything. That tell me they've never had an endorphin rush. <clears throat> it's entirely possible because if you just go to your line, you never go really past it. Your line's always going to go up. But because you never really shoot past it, you never, your body never goes into that, like, wow, what's going on? Let's send help mode. Um, so the thing about the endorphin rush is you've really got to go way past your comfort zone to make that happen. But I give you my word, nobody's uh, immune to it. Um, every human being alive has that beautiful high dollar uh, pharmacy locked up inside you. It's there for your protection for fight or flight situations where your body tells you what to do. Uh, your body's constantly doing things like that. So uh, if you get into a car accident or get into a fist fight or assume even a big altercation with somebody, you get that adrenaline flowing and that's unlocking the pharmacy. But when you eat these peppers, your body essentially goes into this panic mode thinking it's dying. Even if outwardly I seem fine, internally my body's going, hey, we got a problem. And it doesn't have a memory. It doesn't go, ah, he's eating peppers again. The, my body just goes, hey, we've got an issue. Let's send some dopamine and some endorphins throughout this dude's body to help him out. Deal with that pain. So that's what happens. Um, but you got to go past that, way past that comfort zone. When I say way past it, here's a good example. If you're, if you're not used to any peppers at all, a really strong jalapeno probably can do that for you. If you're at jalapeno, a strong habanero will do that to you. If you're at habanero, a ghost pepper will do that to you. If you're at ghost, a reaper or a seven pot will do that to you. If you're there, a primatale will do that to you. And if you're at primatale, many of them will do it to you. Um, you never get to a point where you're, you've gone past, you've graduated and you no longer get endorphin rushes. That doesn't happen. Thank goodness for that. Anyway, I'm gonna, speaking of endorphin rush, I'm gonna get off, uh, stop here. I'm gonna play my guitar for a while. One of my favorite times to play guitar was with a great endorphin rush. 
Um, anyway, gonna wrap it up right now. In the description box, hey, monkey. Please check them out. Great peppers, great time of year. They still have some boxes. So if you want some stunning, amazing peppers in December, wow. In the description box, tell them that Johnny sent you. Right there is the pepper. Uh, if you click that pepper, you're riding with me. If you don't want to miss a video because spicy content uh, is your jam, then click the bell for notification. When you see the Dropbox, select all, but then visit us daily because if you've been around a while, you know that YouTube and their notifications is a little sketchy. Right there is a really important channel, one of my favorites on the net. Uh, it's called The Lifeboat. It's my brother's channel about addiction, sobriety, recovery, and living your best life after you've, made, after you've gone down a bad road. And it can happen. It only gets better. So please check it out. Right there, more videos. Man, I love you. I'm Johnny Scoville. I have issues. This. This was Chase the Heat.